Andrew, this movie touched me so viscerally. It evoked so many memories for me. I was wondering, portraying this character, did you go back into your own past and sift through a favorite memory that informed you? It, it I did. Uh, maybe not some of my favorite ones, <laughs> but certainly was very visceral memories. Yeah, that's what was kind of required of me in this, to sort of go back to a place that was probably a little bit painful or vulnerable or anything like that, but also kind of good memories. You know, we shot it in Andrew's childhood, director's childhood home, and uh, he, he 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 offered that up to us. It was just such a vulnerable thing for him to do. So I felt like I had to bring my own my own stuff and my own history and my own pain, I suppose, uh, to to the to the story. Um, but, you know, I, I really do feel like it was um, an honor to do that because I think it's having such a, an effect on people and, and people see themselves in it, um, no, no matter what their situation, because um, it's such a beautiful idea of going back and talking to your to your parents. In the social media th um, world that we live in, people think fame fills that need for acceptance. Mm. You are of the world around. Does fame fill the hole? Absolutely not. I love the I love the I love the expression that fame is the mask that eats the face. <laughs> and I think that there's some there's real truth in that, you know, because it's about it's about a projection. And of course, we project onto other people when we fall in love with people. We're projecting stuff onto them before we get to know them, you know, really well. We we our, our, our imagination ignites. And so it's very important for me, at least to, you know, for you know, in dealing with that stuff, that the 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 work, the act, the acting that I do, that I show myself in 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 the work, and I was really alarmed actually, um, and moved actually when I saw the film because I there's so much of my own self in there, and you know I think when you give so much to of that, there's nothing really more more you could give out in that thing. I think then it allows you to keep the other stuff a little bit to your to yourself because I do feel like. It sounds like a cliche, but I do feel like I give an awful lot of myself in in the work, and so then you you just you just you just deal with the other stuff. So that leads me to the next question. I was drained watching this in a positive way. Yeah, yeah. How did you come out of it? Because you're very exposed in this. Yeah, yeah. What is that transition phase after showing everything, going back to you? It's 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 hard. And and in a way, I would say that it's not even it's actually not even leaving me. It's actually going inside. I I I sometimes think that acting isn't isn't um pretending to be other people, but finding the other people in that are within you, you know, through somebody else's, you know, it's a marriage between the script and the other storytellers. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we shot the stuff with Jamie and Claire uh, at first, and that bit was very tough. And then we were able to go into the slightly more light stuff where he's falling in love with somebody with the the, the Paul Mescal storyline. Um, but uh, it was a tough it was a it was a tough time to go. You're like, OK, these days are big. But, you know, I I I think the screenplay is genuinely extraordinary. And I think the the performances are really wonderful. And every day. I thought, wow, we've done that, and we've. M my biggest challenge to myself was, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to just show, I've got to just show myself, and uh, um, uh, it's it's wonderful that um, that 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 people have have seen it and and uh, appreciated it. it. It was thrilling to watch. Um, last question, very quick yeah. one. If you could say one thing to your parents, because oh. you're to do that what would that sentence be <laughs> wow um i think it would just be thank you you know they were so um they were so kind they're such kind people and you know i, I was in it was in catholic ireland and when i had to tell them you know who i was they were you know it was a it was a different a different time as you know and um they I just never felt like that at any point they 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 were they were they weren't going to maintain their their love for me. So, you know, thank you. That's what I'd say. Unconditional love is the best. Really?
Exactly. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you.